part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions and welcome back to game 2 of the match between Esper Singletons and Goblins. Philip took a mulligan down to 6 for this game and started off on the play with an isolated chapel. Austin then laid down a mountain and put a spike shot elder into play. Philip laid down an island on his turn and then Austin played a shrine of burning rage. He attacked with his spike shot, taking Philip down to 19. Philip then laid down a plains and put a mentor the meek into play. However, Austin killed it with an arc trail on his turn and dropped Philip to 18. This also brought his shrine up to two counters. He then attacked with his elder again, taking Philip to 17. Philip played an invisible stalker on his turn and followed it up by using a gather the townsfolk to get himself two human tokens. Austin's shrine went to three counters on his turn and then he played a goblin chieftain, taking it up to four. He passed the turn without attacking though and then Philip started off his turn by attacking with his stalker, taking Austin to 19. He then played an increasing devotion and got himself five more humans. Austin added a fifth counter to his shrine and then played a goblin war driver and added a sixth. He also played a second spike shot elder and took the shrine up to seven counters. Philip then laid down a vault of the archangel on his next turn and attacked with the team. Austin chose not to block so Philip gave all his creatures lifelink and death touch until the end of the turn, taking him up to 25 and dropping Austin to 11. Philip then finished his turn up by playing a Gideon's Law Keeper. Austin played a Koth of the Hammer on his next turn, taking his shrine up to 9 counters. He then used Koth's second ability to add 4 more red mana to his mana pool and play a Hell Rider, adding another counter to the shrine. Austin then attacked with his whole team of creatures. The Hell Rider immediately did 5 damage to Philip, dropping him to 20, and then Philip chose not to block anything, so he took another 15, going down to 5. Philip asked, What do I want to draw? before looking at his next card, and his deck answered him with a Soren Lord of Innistrad. He used the Sorn to pump all of his creatures and attacked for lethal, giving him the win and taking them to game 3. So that's it for this gameplay, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version and the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online. 